Well, we're back at the lab bench again. This time we've got the 555 timer all wired up and hot. Uh, it, this is actually a variant of the 555 timer called a 556 timer. The only difference is the 556 timer is a larger chip and it's got two timers on board instead of just one. And I've wired up one of the timers right here. Uh, you've got the instructions in your module and how to wire them up and the schematic diagram there. Your wires may be a different color than mine, but electrically they're wired up exactly the same. I have the ground connected down here and I have 5 volts connected up to the top rail. The 555 timer can run anywhere from 3 volts to 15 volts and uh, you might be using a 9 volt battery on yours or you might be using the output of the Elenco trainer and give you a nice 555 volt, uh, 5 volts for your 555 timer. There you can see the flashing and the oscilloscope right here you can see uh, the square wave that's being produced on the output which is pin 5 of the trainer of the chip. Uh, we have an on time and an off time. The on time is and the off time are determined by these two resistors and that and the value of that capacitor. Uh, the long bar and the on time is uh, controlled by a charging of the capacitor through those two resistors and the shorter off time is discharging the capacitor through the one resistor and then down through the 555, uh, this purple lead to the 555 timers discharge input. Um, what else can we say? We can see here in this particular case, I've got 2.2K resistors in here and we have a frequency of 4.3 Hertz, about four pulses per second and a duty cycle or sorry, a wavelength of 4.22 milliseconds from this rising edge to that rising edge. Now the way that this thing works is the capacitor will charge up to two-thirds of the voltage supplied and then we'll discharge to one-third of the voltage supplied. Now if we move this oscilloscope over to the capacitor you can actually see those waveforms. You can see here it's charging up to two-thirds VCC and discharging down to one-third VCC. Charging and discharging. Now you can experiment with changing these values of resistors or changing the value of this capacitor to see how it affects the waveform on your particular 555 timer. Applications of the 555 timer, these things are great. They'll run from microseconds to hours. You can use them for timing and clocking, for pulse generators, for uh, fre frequency dividers, applications, many, many applications for square waves. And this can produce those square waves. It's also great for a lot of industrial controls. So this particular chip, a 555 timer, falls into a family we call an A-stable multivibrator. That means it runs in, it's unstable. It, uh, it, when it's on, it wants to be off. When it's off, it wants to be on. So it keeps flipping back and forth from on to off. So this is a 555 timer.